Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be in collaboration with Away Travel. I recently went to the Cayman Islands and my mom brought this suitcase with her because she loves it so much. It is such an essential if you're going away on a trip. Some of my favorite features about it is that it has the TSA approved combination lock and in the back here, any devices that you have that can be charged with a USB cord, you just plug into the back and they can be charged up to three times. This is the carry-on size in black. The reason, honestly, that I love this so much is because it's really durable. It's made with premium German polycarbonate, which basically means that it is going to handle anything with impact or resistance. It is a super strong suitcase, but at the same time, it keeps it really lightweight. And that's important to me and my mom because when we have to lift it into the overhead bins, we pack enough as it is that we need anything to help make it lighter because it kind of it's always a rush to get on the airplane to get off and you don't want to have to be worrying about asking someone to grab your suitcase for you. It also has 360 degree spinner wheels so it's always a really smooth ride. You never have to worry about that. It just kind of rolls as you can see there. So for $20 off a suitcase, you can visit awaytravel.com slash carry and use promo code carry at checkout. And I will leave the link to everything listed below if you're interested in purchasing one. Yeah, because it won't line up now. Let's do it again for you now. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that's okay. So, as you guys just saw, Chance and I got into a car accident earlier. Um, we were sitting in the car waiting for uh, the police come to fill out a report, and um, I got called. So, I'm so not ready to be called. Like, I am so not ready. Um, I'm so frazzled, and um, I should have been more prepared, but I didn't think that we were going to be out for that long since, you know, we didn't plan getting in a car accident. We were both okay. Um, it was a little scary. I'm still a little shooken up, and then just to like be called by crew scheduling, so shooken up. Um, but they called me, gave me less than two hours notice, so they waived my sign in, and um, I just finished packing. <laughs> Did my makeup as fast as I could, and I gotta head out. I am doing the same LAX trip with the red eye back that I did, like my last vlog or whatever. Um, I'm gonna pack my lunch up real quick. My suitcase is overpacked just because I am so not organized right now. I haven't even put my groceries away. It's just a huge mess. So I need to pack a little bit of food because um, I just I don't have any food with me and I don't know where the hotel's at. So I will check with you guys as soon as I can. I'm gonna Uber to the airport really quick because um, I have to be there in an hour. Oh my god. Yeah, but. I'll talk to you guys more about everything that happened today once I'm settled in and whew, seriously, huge head rush. I have such a bad headache. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm like shaking so bad. Um, I'll check in with you guys. Hey guys, I'm in my hotel room. I just got in here a few minutes ago. I don't even know what time it is. It is 12.15. And um, we, it was a very interesting day. So last time I checked with you guys, I was really rushed and um, I was kind of frazzled. So, what ended up happening earlier was Chance and I got into a car accident. What ended up happening was the car in front of us started slowing down. Then the car behind us didn't see that anyone was stopping at all. And um, they rammed into us. It was a big truck too. And so that happened and um, the car in front of us sped away. I think they probably didn't have insurance or something. So they sped away and um, we... I had to sit there and file a claim. Me and Chance were okay. Uh, I had a little bit of whiplash because for some reason my seat was like leaned back. And so my head went like boing, boing, and I've had a pretty bad headache all day. And the guy in the truck was completely fine. I got called while we were sitting waiting for 
the report and everything to be done. So I got called to do this LA trip. And now I'm in LA. What ended up happening, we were delayed going to LA because there was a ground hold for every route, which I guess is like unheard of every single route that flights could possibly go out on on the east coast was basically closed down because there was really bad weather um so we had a ground hold for like an hour and a half yeah we ended up delaying because we were trying to get passengers that were coming in from budapest and they all made it to the flight um and then the weather came in it was all along the east coast apparently and um we just had the ground hold so we had to do like a water service and a snack service and everything while we were on the ground um and we were going to go back to the gate but if we went back to the gate um our pilots they're only good for so many hours before they time out and then they can't fly um so if we went back to the gate our pilots would have timed out and i guess there was no other pilots available for reserve so we would have been canceled and those poor passengers would have been so screwed for the night and then they would have gone out the next morning but we had a route and we did not have to go to the gate and here we are we made it and there were some really cool thunderstorms that i got to see i went up to the flight deck and i got to see like all the storms and the lightning and it was really neat um I've, of course, been in the flight deck before, or the cockpit, whatever you want to call it, and, um, but I've never been up there during a storm. I've been up there for sunsets, sunrises, regular whatever days, but not during such a crazy storm and, like, watching it develop and stuff. It was really neat. It was really, really cool. So I was really thankful that the pilots let me come up there and kind of see what was going on. My crew is going out. A few of them, but I'm just like, I can't. Yeah, I will check with you guys in the morning. I was going to show you guys the hotel room, but it's literally the exact same hotel room that I showed you in my last LA vlog. Needed right now. Oh my gosh. Yes. Look at our view. How beautiful is this? Oh my gosh. But why don't I see a pool? All right guys, I'm about to head down to the pool. I'm looking real stylish today. You know, real stylish. Uh, it's, the UV's at like an eight or a nine right now. I just put on my sunscreen. I'm ready to get my bronze on. So let's check out this pool. Okay, so I'm back in my hotel room. I laid at the pool for a good four hours. And I just got back and showered and I'm just kind of gonna watch some TV, relax, try and take a nap before my van time, which is at 9.30. It's funny, with these red eyes, it's like, you have to wake up early enough, then take a little nap, uh, and then wake right back up. Hey guys, I woke up from my nap and I was so, hungry I ordered a pizza I gave in pizza is literally like my guilty pleasure so I ordered from 800 degrees on uber eats and I got a margarita pizza so uh, I'm about to down half of this because I'm so hungry um, and then I'm going to finish getting ready I'm gonna watch some TV while I do this and just relax because I woke up early from my nap I'm just finishing up getting ready. I was just watching some Riverdale on my laptop. Making some coffee. It's brewing pretty slowly. Um, and then I'm just going to finish packing up and go. Uh, I'm going to drink this coffee because I'm kind of tired. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to make it through this. Um, 
and yeah I do not like wearing eye makeup when I do these red eyes simply because my eyes get so dry on the airplane as it is and when I'm like fighting to stay awake um, and all my eyes want to do is close it's really tough for me because um, they get like extra dry I feel like um, so yeah I'm gonna finish packing up and then head downstairs my van is at 935 So guys, after all of my red eyes, once I get home super early in the morning, as Chance likes just to say it, I create a tornado, I get home, I am so exhausted, you will literally see a trail of my stuff, my bags, my uh, uniform, it's just everywhere, all over the apartment, and I am just sleeping in my bed. So I did not film an outro because that's exactly what I did, I created a tornado in our apartment and I just went to bed and slept all day long. These red eyes are so exhausting. So I'm sorry that I forgot to film an outro, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this red eye. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.